this airport looks like a mall in Copenhagen. And going through security was a big hassle that I've not had to deal with in a long time. Oh, travel makes me laugh. Wow, what a day this was. I took the tram four times this morning. They made me check my bag on the flight from Nice. So I had to go out the airport, wait for baggage. That took 20 minutes. And then I had less than an hour before my flight. So I immediately went to security. I get up to security and then they say, you can only have one bag of liquids in your carry-on. I did not know that for this airport. And I had two bags, just one of my facial creams alone was $80. And I was like, I'm not gonna toss $80, well, it just started there. I'm not gonna toss hundreds of dollars of product. I would rather pay for the checked bag. I had to leave security and then in order to leave, my boarding pass wouldn't work again because it was already scanned. So they had to give me a special note. I went back downstairs. I checked the bag, fortunately for free. But at that point, my bag had already cracked on the wheel. This is a brand new bag. I just bought it for this trip. And I get up there and I ask the lady and I was like, is there any way we can mark this as fragile? She's like, no, we don't have any options for fragile, nothing like that. So I was just like, oh my gosh, please don't break. I go back to the TSA line and then they flag my backpack. That has all of my gear. They tore apart my entire backpack like I have never seen. They took everything out of every single pocket and then they found my camera tool repair kit with my mini screwdrivers. And then they made a big deal about it and they said that I couldn't take my mini screwdrivers, which by the way are like this big and they're not even the width of a pencil. They're so tiny because they're precision. And I said, forget it, just take my tool kit, it's whatever. They almost even took my toothpaste. And then of course I go to pick up my bag that they made me check and the wheel is gone. I spent over $70 on that one piece of luggage and now I have to go get a new one somewhere. Oh, and there's little snacks. Gosh, they gave me little snacks. You know, that certainly brightens my day after this travel experience. It's afternoon, technically. I got up this morning, showered. I've been editing all day. First of all, little entryway with the things that I threw. This is my living room. Oh my gosh. And that's the fridge on the right in there, which is so cute. There's a dishwasher hidden in there. Wow. I like this hutch and flowers. And then this is my room. Let's just ignore the things that I threw everywhere because I'm working. So now we are going to go to the market because I need to stock up on a little bit of food. I haven't eaten anything. I'm not even hungry though. I don't know why. I think I'm just bloated. Just bloated from travel. I was going to go to the market and then I get distracted because it's so beautiful here. I just decided to start walking and everything's so affordable, I might just go to lunch. I feel like I should just go to lunch. I don't know what I just ordered. Just the fish soup and it's not good and it's cold, so soup is what it is. This is excellent. Went to the market, got a couple things. Honestly, I didn't get too much because I think I'm just gonna be eating in this little old town area a lot because the food is so good. It's one of the reasons that I came back to Poland. I was having trouble with the Wi-Fi and I was trying to put on Netflix while I was editing an episode and answering emails. And I emailed the Airbnb host to say, hey, like, there's a connection problem. Can you help me with this? And they said, no problem. I'll be here in 20 minutes. And I was like, oh, okay, you're close by, you're here, and you can actually help me. That's great. So the Airbnb host comes over and pops open my Netflix, okay? These are the movies that came up. Continue watching. Disappearance of Madeline McCann, Turning Point, 9-11, War on Terror, Jeffrey Epstein, Unsolved Mysteries, Venom, Senior Year, and Making a Murderer. I don't even wanna think about what this man thinks of me after seeing everything that I've recently been watching on Netflix. He might be slightly concerned that they rented this place for me. I'm just, I might be concerned. Good morning, friends. I just woke up and I'm gonna do a workout, do a P-Valve workout, and it's really foggy outside. We are gonna just edit, 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 edit all day. I am gonna get through these vlog edits. I am gonna do it. It's gonna happen. 
Here we are again, friends, sitting on the floor because I need to work out every single day. Yesterday, I worked out and then I just edited all day and that's mainly what I'm gonna do today. That's life sometimes. That's just, that's just my work week. I showered today, very proud of that, and I threw on some clothes and I'm getting a little bit hungry and we're pretty much out of food. So I'm gonna go to the market right now. Well, when I say I, I mean we. We're just gonna pick up a couple things and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna keep working. We're almost all the way done and caught up with all the vlog edits. I'm really, really sad. I have not had a full day to go out and venture or even half of a day. So I'm contemplating extending my stay here just for a few days because I really do wanna travel around. Hopefully this place is still available. If it's not, then we will get somewhere close by and hang out because it's just so cute here. It is so fall. Just look out the window. I don't know what it is, but I love the color of dark trees and the yellow leaves. Look, the leaves have fallen and they changed colors. Let's go venture literally around the corner. The other market that I went to the other day was closed for some reason, even though Google said it was open. So I found another one because they're everywhere, the Zabka markets. And I just picked up a few things for some dinner tonight and then also some of this. I'm obsessed with yogurt in Europe and I got some more of that. Now we're just walking back and taking in the sights that are beautiful. Old Town is pretty small. It's mainly one large street, but it is such a great place to walk around. There are a lot of merchants there. A lot of people sell amber jewelry, plenty of restaurants, little shops, and places for souvenirs. I'm heating up some tomato soup and boiled an egg. I like to put a hard boiled egg in my tomato soup. Basically, I'm just taking a little editing break. It gets so dark here so early. It's about 4.30 p.m. Look at how dark it is at 4.30 p.m. Also, the birds are so loud. I should have bought bread and I was going to and then I forgot. As you can see, I haven't put away any of the laundry because I have no company. I feel exhausted. I have been editing all day. This is the last vlog I have to edit and then I will be all caught up with the exception of what I'm filming right now. And then tomorrow I am planning on filming brand new episodes that everybody has been asking for and requesting. So I'm very excited about that and I'm just going to send those episodes though to my editor because I need to enjoy where I'm at and I, I've just been locked up editing for days. So I need a little breather. But right now, before it gets dark, I'm gonna go grab some more food at the market really, really quickly. I just don't really like being out <laughs> at night. More soup, because it's just been so cold, and I'm gonna try one of these flavored beer things. It's so interesting that even when you don't speak a language in a country you're at, if you stay long enough, you'll start hearing the same phrases. Even though I couldn't tell you word for word what somebody is saying to me, I've started to realize when I go to certain places, when they're asking me things like, are you going to pay with cash or card? Do you want a receipt? I know what they're saying now. I've never had that experience before. Very interesting. I'm back. Here's that little blackberry beer I'm trying. I... I'm a sucker for cherry or blackberry flavors. It tastes like a soda. That is so good. It's not, it doesn't taste like a cider. I finished filming two new episodes and a couple of reels and unfortunately I dropped my camera, but I am so thankful that it still works. I honestly can't even believe that it turned on, that it was or is in focus. That's astounding. And the major problem is that it just does not open and close correctly. It makes weird noises. So I am praying and hoping that this camera is going to last for the rest of this trip. I don't know what else to do if not. Also, I'm just enjoying some apple juice, but I like it in fancy cups. I still cannot believe this camera works after dropping it yesterday. I, I just, I literally bent the entire lens so it couldn't retract inside of itself. I have just been kind of working in the morning and now I am gonna go adventure and explore because it's beautiful. It's only 2 p.m. but it gets dark here real quick. Look, look at the sun setting and I'm kind of hungry. I feel like dinner. Everything in Europe, in Poland, all over the place, just cute. It's 
like a fairy tale. I love it here. I'm just walking down a random street. So adorable. I love the color of the leaves and the trees. Look at this. At the end of Old Town, there is the water and there's a boardwalk and there are so many restaurants there. I wish that I would have stopped for dinner at one of those places. I probably should have tried it, but if you ever come to this town, I would definitely recommend that. But really, you can't go wrong with Polish food. I personally love it. I think it's amazing. So I went to this other local restaurant in Old Town. I was so happy. I ordered some sort of pork dish, but I don't know the name of it because I don't speak Polish. Hello friends, it's another beautiful day and another day of me wearing the same shirt. I'm just wearing the same outfit as the other day because the last time I only went outside for like an hour and then I come back home and I immediately change. So today I'm going to venture out. I want to get a couple of photos around the city to have as a memory of my trip and then I'm just going to come back and start preparing new episodes. That's really all I've been doing is just filming and editing episodes, creating reels. Follow me on Instagram if you don't already at Danny Walker or Danny Walker Official on TikTok. I've been influenced by Instagram once again. I saw a post about drinks that are 10 out of 10 and one of the drinks was a Thai iced tea and I'm a huge fan. So ever since then, I've really been craving a Thai iced tea. So I was like, I wonder if they have boba around or bubble tea. Looked it up, found a few places. Went to the first place right now and they just said, no, we only have fruit flavors. How can you call yourself a boba shop if you don't have the milk tea flavors? I'm gonna keep looking for Thai iced tea, but I'm gonna get distracted and look for scarves. Look at this little shop. So cute, let's go in. I just bought three beautiful wool scarves and a little bit more than I wanted to spend. They were a little bit over 50 for each, but I bought them because I imagine these as pieces I'm gonna have for a long time and I'm gonna wear a lot. I'm not just gonna wear them for the fall, but I'm also gonna use them as wraps. Let me show you. This, it reminds me of Princess Jasmine. I love any shades of, I mean, it's not really turquoise. It's more like an aqua, but I still love it and I love the gold and look at the shimmer. This one I got because it's a metallic neutral and I feel like this could go with a little black dress and just easier to style this one. This one's wrapped. I got this cashmere wool one for Cheyenne for Christmas. It's a really good basic and green's her favorite color. <sighs> well, so much for Thai tea today. We struck out on Thai tea, but I still got Thai food. I got some had Thai and then I asked if they had Thai tea but they only had lemonades very confusing but this lemonade drink has a pumpkin flavor it's like a pumpkin lemonade and it is so good oh my gosh How have I never heard of pumpkin lemonade I'm Come on. it is my last full day in Poland and I wanted to get up really early which I did got up at 530 to take some content photos in the downtown area which yes we can do the weather is not working for me today uh, as you can see this is the natural light it is not very bright it is completely cloudy and overcast which is not bad for photos but I'm just concerned that it's just gonna be dark but regardless we're gonna give it a shot and I will show you the OOTD We are classic, we are monochromatic, except for this beautiful new scarf that we purchased yesterday. I say we because I feel like we're on this journey together. Oh, I kind of like that. Maybe just, ooh. And then one thing I like to do too, just give it a little, oh, look at that, give it a little knot. I feel like fashion. My life is a miracle. First of all, earlier the camera dropped. Second of all, right now I was getting ready to go downtown to go take these photos and I was like, hmm, where is my little self timer remote so I can actually take the photos? And then I remembered. 
last night when I was doing clothes, I heard a little, like that little banging in the washer. And I was like, that's weird. I don't know what that is. Then I remembered when I was taking photos yesterday, I put my little remote into my pocket. I washed those pants last night. I just checked the remote thing, took out the battery, popped it back in. I was like, you know what? Gonna give it a shot. Don't think this is gonna work. It went through the washer. It worked. It worked. We are making it through this trip on a prayer. Well, that did not work. That didn't work at all. As I suspected, there's not enough light. So the photos came out super grainy. There was really no point. So I went to the market, picked up a couple snacks, and I'm gonna get right back to work. And also, look at this, my hair just in the weather. The, there, there's moisture in the air. It's not working for me. I went to the mall and I bought some black tights that I was looking for, and I bought some new PJs, and it's really cold out. So I'm trying some mold wine, which looks like sangria to me. I don't know, but it's supposed to warm me up. Okay. Mm -hmm. Look at thing. It's just like hot wine. Hot wine with spices. I got it with oranges. Hello, friend. All right, last morning in Dansk. I, I'm trying to learn how to say this place is the place that I am. Finished packing. And then we head to Paris. I went to bed at 3 a.m. last night. Woke up at 9.30, I'm still tired. Just sleepy, just watching pageants around the clock. How is my day going? That's a great one. So I tried to open up my camera, which was working this morning, and it stopped working once again, and it's jammed. So I don't know what to do about that. That's $700 to replace. We've lost two of the four wheels on the suitcase. I don't really want to buy another inexpensive suitcase for around 70 to 80 dollars and then just have it break again like this one did. This channel is expensive. The end of this trip ended up being quite stressful for me, but I hope that you enjoyed getting a behind the scenes look of what it's like to be a traveling content creator. Thanks for tuning in and please join me for the next vlog.